Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Our gooses, they missed you. Our gooses, she, he missed you. Anyway, I wanted to make a video today. I'm feeling a lot better today. Thank you guys for all your kind comments. They were amazing. They helped so much. I literally cried reading every comment, especially the ones that really took extra time to share their story. And I cried for you guys and I cried for myself. I literally cried every day. And the reason that we haven't been vlogging is because Talking about stuff just makes me cry. I feel better today. Up until today, I felt like I've had no hope, but then some recent things have happened to make us have hope. So I'm gonna just share with you guys the things that, that have been happening to give us hope and to help change my mindset. God is good and he was able to show me a way despite all the hardships. It's really hard to look forward to see if in the future I just got stuck and it was really hard to get past that until God showed me some things and brought some things into our life to give us hope and to show me a way into the future. So I want to show you guys those things right now. God showed me a horse standing in this stall, a stall that we've never used before. And he showed it to me a couple days before Chino passed. And then he showed it to me just after Chino passed. I saw a horse standing in this stall. I feel God's trying to tell me that he's coming to us soon. And that gave my heart hope. Suddenly, one day, Sophie rescued this little tiny baby mouse that we found in the barn. And he was the cutest little mouse. Even though he died just a few hours later, it gave spark to our heart. It reminded us that taking care of animals is what brings us so much joy. Even sick ones. And another miracle. Someone just randomly dropped off two baby pea chicks at our house. newborns that hadn't even had their very first meal yet. And you guys know pea chicks are can be tricky to raise. We were just thrust into this whole new journey of raising these little pea chicks. Just a second ago, the barnyard had animals in it again. The goats were at this hay feeder and they were eating when we just came out. And for their, and for sure that's a sign. Another sign is the goat, the, the duck and the goose stayed away this whole entire time that I wasn't videoing as well. I wanted to give you an update on Willow as well. She's doing good. She goes out every morning with the horses for grass and then we bring her in. We leave her out a little bit longer each day so that eventually she'll be out with them. We wanted to take it slow so that she doesn't have problems with grass. And I noticed that her eating grass, actually, her eating grass has helped her lose a little bit of weight because we fed Chino so much food that she got a little extra. We do have some changes that we're going to make moving forward. We're gonna change this area, this area that I love so much. I want this to be the hub of our farm again. I want this to be our farmyard. I want this to be where our animals come to find us and come to love us, right? That's awesome. <laughs> I truly believe that one day soon, Chino will send a horse to Gabby to heal her heart. I believe that there's always a reason. I believe that God has a plan and we never get a say, we never get a say. But I do wanna take a minute to dispel some rumors that I saw. I saw some people saying that we didn't help him, that we didn't even have a vet, that we just left him to die. That's not true. We spent a lot of time with our vet the last few weeks. In the last two days, our vet was here four times. We worked really closely with our vet and he was amazing with us. We listened to all of his recommendations. I also saw comments where they said, someone said that Chino didn't have any pain medication. That Chino was on a lot of medication. And in fact, our vet told us that at this point, it doesn't matter the amount of, because I questioned, should he be on this amount of medication? Is this okay? And he said, right now we're worried about comfort and that's it. And that's okay. That We followed our vet's recommendations to the letter. We did everything they said. We told our vet, we had our vet come the second last day because we knew Chino and we knew he was telling us it was time. But our vet said, let's try one more thing. And we said, okay, let's try it. If you think one more thing might help him, then we're gonna try it, we're gonna try everything. And he said that to us, he said we tried everything because he tried everything and we went along with anything that he wanted. So we tried new special shoes to help, but it was not about his feet. His feet were like just a small amount of the issue and they didn't work. So the next day we had the vet come again and he said, yeah, it's absolutely time. 
So just to set the record straight, Chino had a lot of pain medication. The minute the pain medication stopped working, Get off me. the minute it became ineffective, that's when we called the vet to come back and reassess everything and, and he did. Sam and I discussed it way back in the summer and we decided that we would spend as much money as we needed to get him better because he was worth it. We had no idea that it wasn't gonna work. Like, we really thought it was gonna work and that's why it was so hard for us is that we really thought it was gonna work. I also wanted to address this one other question that I'll put here. Um, someone said that they genuinely wanted to know why Gabby was indifferent or what was the word she used indifferent or i forget but anyways gabby was not any of the any anything like that at all gabby was so emotionally traumatized just because she chose not to show it to you guys doesn't mean that she doesn't didn't love chino and isn't heartbroken and also i want you to know that people deal with grief differently for some people See, this is why I didn't want to vlog, because I didn't want to cry. Some people have to harden their heart because the pain would be too much for them. Gabby definitely is a sensitive soul, and to allow herself to feel the pain to the level that she has pain would be devastating for her. So for her to be able to go on and to move forward, she has to not think about it. She has to put it from her, her mind. She has to harden her heart and pretend everything is okay so that she can go on. And that may not be how you do it. It may not be what you think is okay or normal, but it is okay and it is normal. It's okay to grieve however you need to grieve. And I myself, did the same kind of mechanism. I had to put everything away. I had to not even video. I had to just be quiet in myself and I had to not think about it and I had to not talk about it. I had to just try and get past it. I had to block it from me because the pain was just too much. And if that's how she needs to deal with it, then that's how she should deal with it. I wanted to be completely respectful of her grief and Sophie's and Sam's. We all cried, it was awful. But I didn't share any of that with you guys out of respect for them, out of respect for their privacy. So for someone to say that she acted like she didn't care, I think is not kind at all. Hopefully the comment was not written by a troll who was just trying to, who wasn't just trying to invoke an emotional response from us and to cause pain because that's what they do. Hopefully it was a genuine question of someone that who was young and truly didn't understand that everyone handles grief differently. I pray that that's why, that that is genuinely why the question was asked. But I wanted to share it because I don't want people saying unkind things about Gabby who is hurt the most by all of this. We can't go that way. Why? Rooster. Sylvie, we can go by the rooster. I can't. I learned yesterday the rooster that, that Molly. if you grab him and hold him upside down by his feet, <laughs> that it teaches him you're the boss. We haven't done that yet, but one of my friends who works in animal welfare, she catch told him. me that. It's the little rat. She told me. And hey, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we've had a really rough week. Adam, walk forward, Adam. No, so if you still have to. Too bad. <laughs> she leaves me with you. Listen, I want to keep you, so be kind. See me inside, she says. I got my eye on you. <laughs> Anyway, we plan to continue and move forward. I believe God has great things in store for us. I see a new horse where I haven't been able to see a new horse for a long time. And I see a new horse now. And I'm excited about that. God giving us the pea chicks and that little baby mouse was just enough 
to give us something to focus on, something to direct our grief towards, something to fix and something to heal. And you guys know peahens can be, or pea chicks can be really difficult to feed and really difficult to care for. And these two are proving to be that difficult. They're almost like baby birds that you have to care for. They don't eat very well on their own. Not at first, it takes them a while. No, I stood here for too long. <laughs> <laughs> He's followed me, but God is good. The future is bright, and I can't wait to share with you everything that comes our way. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way